Hello YouTube, welcome diecast enthusiasts. Um, this is the morning after the day before, so to speak, in the sense of yesterday I visited Sandown Park Toy Fair in Surrey. Uh, for those of you that are watching overseas, it's in the Surrey countryside of southern England. Very nice um, picturesque area and Sandown Park is a race course and it's a beautiful race course, very well known as is the Toy Fair itself. Um, it's been a haven for European collectors and dealers in the past but in the recent years um, the guys coming over from Europe have depleted and with the complications of Brexit it's really dis dissipated to almost zero now. Um, that is something I noticed on my visit to Sandown yesterday but with, notwithstanding that it was still a very good show um, there were an awful lot of dealers there, more than I'd expected because of course this is was one of the first major fairs here in the UK to be held since of the problems of Covid. Um, I was a little anxious, um, not really knowing what to expect but after being there for a short time people were going about their daily business and really I would say most people were just nice to be out back in the toy fair and swap meet community and taking a good look at the die casts available and Covid wasn't really talked about um, from the point of view of mask wearing it was probably about 50-50 I chose to wear a mask myself but for those guys and girls that decided not to wear a mask then that's fine that's everyone's got their own personal choice it was a good attendance yesterday difficult to say how many um, on my walk around looking for purchases for myself it seemed pretty vibrant so from that perspective it was good. Um, now I did do some videoing while I was there at certain tables but the main problem was access. So the videos I've taken are of quite a poor quality to be fair. There was an awful lot of reflection from the boxes and um, I certainly didn't want to get in the way of any transactions between the dealers and buyers. So um, it was a quite hurried video. So apologies for that. Hopefully it's better than nothing. Um, but not at all to the quality that I've seen of some of you other guys that show videos at your local swap meet so but you know I made the best of what I could really um, it was of course Sandown is known for being the largest fair in southern England and there's a very good mix of storeholders with an awful lot of different stock be it action figures of course die cars from Hot Wheels and Matchbox and Vintage, Corgi and Dinky and modern new releases. Um, trains, an awful lot of trains. Um, obviously lots of different scales. So there's something for everyone. And on a visit to Sandown and really any other swap meet, you need to take a couple of quid in your pocket it's not worth going to a show like that without the intention of buying because you're gonna see things that you want obviously of course you can only spend what you can afford um, but on the whole it was a very good day now um, following this 
there will be the video of me at Sandown. Um, I didn't speak during it because obviously with the noise level and I was trying to do it incognito so to speak. I did ask some of the dealers for permission and they were fine with that. Some were a little bit more hesitant. Um, obviously, you know, they don't know what I'm doing, videoing or taking photos. But on the whole, they were more than willing to let me, you know, do a video or two. So that was good. Um, now, the, the videos I took were of a general mix. And as I say, they were very rushed. But one um, stall that I did video had a very interesting selection of 118th scale transporters and car carriers and they looked absolutely superb unfortunately they were beyond my finances but for those that really want a lovely model to be the highlight of their collection they looked excellent so hopefully you'll see them later on in general the price is a fair at Sandown um, there are some dealers that do try it on a bit, um, but on a whole, they're fair and you can, you know, hopefully for multiple purchases, you can squeeze the price down a little bit. Obviously, the dealers have had a torrid time in the last 18 months, so you've got to have respect the fact that they've got stock, they want to sell, but they can't give it away, so... Um, that's fair enough. Um, just before I go, in the background there, these aren't purchases I made at Sandown. I've just put them there for my own collection, just so as you're not looking at a blank canvas, so to speak. This one. One two five. It's lovely, isn't it? That's what they've got set up like. That Mark II is a nice model. Yeah, they've done well on it. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot nice. Yeah. You see it in the pictures. Yeah. Well, I've seen it in the pictures, yeah. Yeah, now I've seen it. Now I've seen it. Yeah. But yeah, in a couple of weeks, we'll be back in. I'll take it. Oh, my mouth 
Okay, yeah. got it, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. I've got a box in here. 
I've never been before, but I thought I'm sure I'm going to carry stuff around. Yeah. Um,
Dealer called Nigel <laughs> with the finest selection of models from all around the world. Nigel's been signing for 30 years.
I'm actually at Sandown Racecourse where there was a toy fair today which I visited to see what purchases I could make. This is a parade ring. Um, now you can see the stands in the background overlooking the ring and uh, a restaurant area etc and standing places but lovely cut lawn there. I wish my garden looked like that but of course no such luck there so it's a nice little setting uh, the toy fair was quite good I will show you some of my purchases I'm just going to run through just a few here um, so I'll do that now um, now first here is the Dodge Charger 1971 which is from M2 I quite like this uh, racing version not one I've got so that would be a nice addition um, from direct connection the box is a little worn but I don't mind that at all because I will crack this open um, now the next one is one of my favourite castings, the Judge. Of course the Pontiac GTO with that RAM air text on the side. All rise for the Judge. So that is very nice, I'm very pleased with that. Um, next we have the Mercury Cougar in blue 1968 version which is very nice as well in just a street finish there nothing too grand simple card now you can see the six pound price there 
um, and here I had it marked up for seven pound and this one I believe was marked for seven but they were kind enough to do me a deal on the three and I got them for five pound each so fifteen pound for the three so I'm pretty pleased with that that's a good deal so there we are little side view little side view of the charger I do like these racing liveries stock car so and this just a street car not so excited about this one but for five pounds I think that's a fair deal so it's worth having in the collection now this one I got from a different seller um, I don't know anything about this set it came loose as we're looking at it now it's an auto zone set so I'm assuming that may well have been some sort of special exclusive maybe from an auto zone promotion but um, we've got the Mustang and the Cuda there at the bottom nice liveries with the orange and black and the flames there on the Cuda um, nice orange interior on the Cuda and black interior on the Mustang but that is a nice little set so I'm pleased with those I'm very pleased with that auto zone set indeed so we just take a final look at the setting here at Sandown Racecourse in Surrey where of no doubt some of you may have visited and had a flutter maybe lost your shirt or maybe gone home with a few extra pounds hopefully I've been to a few race days and they're a good day out I've had a few winners not significant amount of money but enough to enjoy the day and that's all what we want to do isn't it just take a nice day out a break from work 